Hey guys, on today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to format your external hard drive for USB stick to work with your TV. So let's start this with Disk Utility. So this is Disk Utility. That's what you guys are going to be using in order to format your USB stick or external hard drive. So if you guys don't see it down there, don't worry about it. Go to your Spotlight Search, which is on the top right hand corner of your screen. And from there, just type in Disk Utility. So Disk Utility should come up first. So let's open it up. And here we go. So let me just zoom in a little bit so you guys can see. And right here, these are my first options. I'm just going to close these up. So most likely, this is your view. So you guys will see something like this, which is your internal. Then you have your external. Your external right here can be your external hard drive or your USB stick. If you guys click here on the side, it's going to expand out. This is one of the partitions. It's always one partition. OK, so what we have to do is click on the first one. And from here on the top, you guys will see that it says erase. So this will delete everything from within the external hard drive or USB stick. OK, so all the files, everything that's in it will get erased. So that's why before doing this, you guys should back up any stuff that you guys already have in there. And then you guys will just have to put it back in your external hard drive or USB stick. So we're just going to click on erase, which is the middle option here. Zoom out a little bit. There we go. So for your TV, so there's many TVs out there, but the most common one will be XFAT. So if you guys format as XFAT and with this setting right now, it will most likely work with newer TVs. Now, some TVs out there, although you guys format it XFAT, you will need to choose this option. Okay, so try one of the two and this should be good. With XFAT, you guys can put large videos in there or large files, I should say, and you guys won't have any problems. All right. So if you guys just click on erase right now, it's just going to erase it. So again, just make sure to choose this. Never erase any internal hard drives. OK, just erase this because again, you're deleting everything from within it and it's formatting it to work with your TV. So right now it's done. Click done and I can plug it into my TV, right? And I can drag and drop any files on it. So just to show you. So if you guys don't see an icon right here on the side of your well on your desktop, it's OK. You guys might see it right here on the finder. So if you guys go to finder, open it up, you guys should see right here under locations, your external hard drive or USB stick. Well, I didn't put a title on it. That's why it says untitled. You guys can put any name that you want on it and not just leave it untitled. So that's one of the ways. Now, if you guys are still having problems not working properly, well, then we're going to try the other way, which is not the best, but a lot of older TVs need to do this. So let's go to erase again. And this time we're actually going to choose right here. MS DOS fat which is my least favorite. Again, you have to try both of them. You guys have to try this and this. Most likely this will work, especially if you're choosing fat. The bad thing about this type of format is that it can only take smaller files. So nothing bigger than four gigs. So movies nowadays, they are usually more than four gigs. So this format pretty much sucks, but that's what older TVs work with, so we can't really do anything. Remember the name that I told you, you guys can name your USB stick or any external hard drive. You guys can just put in the name right here, so I can call it test. I can call it anything that you guys want, hard drive, backup, I can call it movies, anything, okay? So from there I can just put erase, and there we go. So those are the options that you guys have to try out with your TV. Since I don't know exactly what TV you guys have, I'm not 100% sure which of these options will work, but for sure try the first one. And then if it doesn't work, then try this one. And this one will most likely work for most of you guys. That's how you guys can format in order to work. OK, now see this right here, the icon. Now that popped up finally. However, like I showed you guys, you guys can go right into Finder. And you guys can find it right there. So under Finder, I can also see it right now under locations and it's empty. So I can drag any movies here. So I can drag this 4K movie right on here and just copy and paste it in there. Okay. I like to drag stuff. That's just how I work. 
you guys can also copy and paste so you guys can highlight that movie for example so here's my movie i can press command c and then command v in order to copy and paste or i can right click on it so let me just zoom out so you guys can actually see what i'm doing i can right click on it and from here you guys can just copy and then paste it okay so right here it says copy so you guys can copy and then paste it right here on your drive so right click and then paste okay so those are the ways that you guys can transfer files and there's actually a bunch of other ways but those are the two main ones just copy and pasting that's it for this video tutorial if you guys have any questions comments you can write them down here in the comments area. don't forget to subscribe and rate thank you